believe it's Syria, but I could be totally wrong on that. It's 2A, and I apologize if I am. It's 2A006177. They didn't even give him a nice green and white. Faded ones. Sir, can you tell me your full name? First name is Glenn, last name is Serio. Yeah, this this video. Thank you. Oh. You're here today for arraignment for one count of uh, disorderly conduct, one count of operating a motor vehicle and refusing, and refusing to comply with a police officer, both from January 3rd of 2022. I'm going to... Okay, so one count of... ...and the nature of the offenses, what the city's charging you with. Is that correct? Yeah. The disorderly is a simple misdemeanor, carries with it a maximum of 90 days in jail, $1,000 in fines. Uh, Ooh, the refusal to fine. comply is a gross misdemeanor, carries with it a maximum of 364 days in jail, $5,000 fine. I'm going to accept your pleas of not... Okay, so it's two misdemeanors, one's a ma ...person or disturbing the peace. Do you have any questions about any of your rights at arraignment that I can answer for you that your attorney could not perform you went over with her this morning? That's a dangerous no. question. <laughs> Perfect. But he answered it correctly. What is this gentleman's plan for an attorney today, counsel? Uh, Your Honor, I, I would ask that um, one. Okay. I would ask that he just be given an opportunity to screen with OPD. Do you, remember, do you know what she just said? It's hard to hear. Uh, are you down with OPD? Okay. Um. Well, do you, now, do you believe that he qualifies now? Have you had a conversation with him about that? I have had a conversation with him about that. It's yeah. unclear to me. He does make, he does work steadily. He's also responsible for um, child support of his 12-year-old son. Um, but I'm I'm not sure where the cutoff line is. I believe he makes around $2,500 a month. So I would just ask that he's given the opportunity to screen. Okay, he, he makes twenty five hundred dollars a month, and he pays he pays how much in child support each month? Around four hundred. I'm going to directly appoint the Public Defenders Association to represent this gentleman. I mean, does that surprise you that 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 was enough for the judge? But I'm going to directly appoint now. Okay. So I think I know the answer to this question, but let me ask the defense if it wants to be heard on probable cause on either of the offenses. Your Honor, I'm going to reserve on probable cause at this point. Okay. Um, what What does that mean? I'm going to reserve on probable cause. You want to be heard or not? I, I, it doesn't make sense. Right. To me. Like, no, I'm going to wait a few more days. I'm just going to let him sit in jail a few more days, and then I'll be heard <laughs> on probable cause. Like, what? <laughs> So it makes me wonder, number one, I've never seen where the, the magistrate or judge, whoever, asks you, well, do you think there's probable cause? Like, what, is she going to make an argument to say whatever is in this police report is inaccurate? There's not probable cause for the arrest? It's not like you have the officer there to give sworn testimony or something. So that is very strange. We don't have that type of questioning in our arraignment process. So i I'm not really sure where that comes in. That actually came up in another video. Do you only do do probable cause findings when you're dealing with felonies as opposed to misdemeanors? Yeah. So, and even then, it's not like you just nonchalantly bring it up. <laughs> like you have to, you know, have witnesses there and take testimony sworn under oath, and there has to be a transcript made. So. Th that's unusual. It must be a Washington thing. I don't know if there's other attorneys or prosecutors on here. I'm sure they'll comment if their state has it, but uh, we don't have that where I'm at. I think there's a lot left to be desired um, in the police report, but I'll make the Ouch. finding of probable cause for today's purposes, setting a bail in our conditions. Mr. Zacker, what are the city's requests today? So, yeah, so, city is yeah, I could have been talked out of it. Did the um, judge or magistrate just basically say this is a really terrible police report, and I don't think there's probable cause? But since you reserved on it, we're just going to go forward. And what do you yeah. what do you think on bond? <laughs> like, ouch! In my mind, the judge just threw that that PD under the bus. But okay, You're right? Like, sure, you know what? Reserve on it. It's a crappy report, but reserve on it. We'll just go forward and see what happens. 
not opposed to his release with standard court conditions. Uh, just standard court. I was trying to think if there are any other conditions that I was going to be requesting, but just the standard court conditions here, please. All See, what's hard about this is counsel. we don't we don't know what the standard court conditions are there. Like with ours the statutory conditions are, you know, different depending on whether it's a PR bond or whether it's a cash bond, but in general, no leaving the state of Michigan. Uh, and unless you, cause we're a border County down here, there's a lot of people that either live in Indiana, work here or vice versa. So a lot of times if the defense attorney or the defendant themselves raise the issue of, Hey, I, I work there or whatever, the judge will allow that. But in general, you're not allowed to freely travel between the States just, because you want to, um, and then no breaking any other laws. But a lot of times we have a no drinking or a no assault or threatening behavior. I mean, no annoying or intimidating behavior might be a good one in this particular matter, but I don't <laughs> know if they allow that. He, he, he's not capable of uh, complying with that. I, I, I will say you. this is probably like the quietest he's been for a span of time in quite a while on camera. Yeah, he's he he knows he's in for it. You know what's weird is is I I find this really interesting and it's kind of fun because it's raw. But I don't know the underlying conduct. I don't right. know what happened at the incident. You know, I, I guess it could go two ways. One, he realizes, look, I really didn't do anything that justifies this arrest. But knowing that this is how the process goes, I'm just gonna sit quietly, let my attorney do the talking. Or he knows that he really screwed up and it's like, I better just sit quietly and, and hope that somebody can get me out of the mess that I've gotten in. I don't know. I feel like those are two options anyway. Yeah. Well, he's talking about terms of release. So he's releasing him today. Right. So you don't want to screw that up. Like just, just yeah. stay quiet. Don't say anything that's going to change that judge or magistrate's mind and be like, eh, maybe you don't need to. Get a yeah, I mean, you're, you're getting your freedom. So just, yeah, be quiet. He, he has the sense to do that. I give him credit. Just so you know, there's no criminal law violation. Do you have any objections to that? No, thank you. Okay. So, sir, while the case is pending, which is pretty easy for you, simply have no new criminal law violations, okay? And so what I've done, just so that you understand, I've directly appointed the Public Defenders Association to represent you. So you'll call the office in a couple of days, they'll tell you who the attorney is, and that can be your attorney for the duration of the case. If you choose that you want to hire a private attorney, that's your right. You can go and do that. That's fine with me. You don't have to do that. So it's totally up to you on what you want to do with that, okay? So I just want to make sure that you don't have to go through any sort of screening process. I've already done that for you, okay? So it's up to you on what you want to do going forward. So when he says, yeah, I, I've already done that for you, the screening process, I, I take that as I, I'm, I'm confident you don't have enough money. You, you, here's your free attorney. Is that yeah, the way you read and it? that's what I'm getting from that too. But also anytime that you get that option, it's like kind of winning the lottery, right? You may get a really good public defender that you didn't have to pay big bucks for. On the flip side, you may get somebody that's not really invested in your case. So, you know, I... I what I would say to people is, look, if you don't have the funds, honestly don't have the funds to get the attorney of your choice, then get a public defender. You always have the option at any point to sub somebody else in. Uh, and again, I mean, you may get a really good one. Okay. All right. Let me get this gentleman new court date. Just give me a second. All right, so I am going to set this for March 1st, Ooh, that's a 9 out. 30, in front of Judge Bowie. That'll be trial confirmation with a March 9th at 8.30 trial date. And I signed this gentleman's release orders. So did he just give us a March 3rd pretrial date and then a March 9th trial date? Mm-hmm. I mean, that's a pretty tight timeline. I know that the judges are tight on their dockets and they have reporting requirements to the state, at least in Michigan, but those are the worst deadlines. Do you, with your practice, I mean, for me, it's a little different now being in the prosecutor's office, but in private practice, when we had 
say, um, a divorce trial and you have your final pretrial and then a week later you have the trial, like nobody can get subpoenas out in that time. You don't want to waste people's money sending us subpoenas 30 days ahead of time and then have it settle. That's just interesting. Uh, the civil dockets is just not like that. I mean, we, we kick it off on our first appearance and we say, all right, do you want a one or two year discovery schedule? And then we don't stick to that. I mean, that, that's one or two years. Yeah. Great. I mean, you're, ta you're taking a, you're taking a, a tort claim to a jury. Uh, it's going to be three years after you file it. it and I and wonder... that's throughout the state. I mean, less, less than some, you know, Lake County has the rocket docket, but uh, Cook County is like that. And a lot of other counties are too. Well, and I'm sure that the facts of this case probably aren't terribly complicated, right? Yeah. It sounds like a pretty standard, but that's still, I would rather see a pretrial within the next couple of weeks to try and resolve it instead of having to wait two months or a month and a half, whatever. And then a week later you have a trial. And I'm assuming, is it, a jury trial we have jury trials that often i mean that just seems interesting well most but, people plead you know but well i i wouldn't say most but okay yeah probably most <laughs> probably, by the time it gets to the point where you've been charged with something it's gone through the prosecutor's office you know there's generally a reason unless there's just people that are completely lying, which unfortunately does happen, or mm -hmm. mistaken identity, which unfortunately happens sometimes. So, well, it's it's interesting. My now I'm just onto the speculation because I just have the this court appearance, and I wanted to react to it because it's fresh, you know. But uh -huh. I, my guess is, but I, it's pure speculation. I have no idea. My guess is he's out doing his auditing activity. He gets he gets into. A confrontation which is exactly what he wants to do he ends up getting arrested but because of that i don't think we'll see the video so he would have posted this thing but probably right now his attorney well, got arrested he couldn't post it right like wait yeah yeah no. my phone out of my personal property or are you guys keeping that as evidence i mean honestly how many times do you have a crime committed where you have firsthand video evidence not very often, right? If you're lucky, you have a security camera or store footage or a police officer's body cam if it's an R or no, like resisting obstructing type of thing. But this guy like filmed his own crime, probably. That's what they do. Really not That's so why bad. it's fun. <laughs> That's or why it's he, fun. Or he filmed him not committing a crime and it makes the best defense, right? right? If you've got it right on the video, like, look, the officer said I did this, but hey, here's my video I took and... Yep. I didn't do that, or whatever the case may be. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Welcome. All right, next is Golden. This is XZ zero one five six eight. And that's so. Would you would you like to leave? I would like your sergeant or lieutenant here immediately. Okay. That's if you're not going to happen, it's going to happen. Okay. Let's go outside and talk about this. You first. I'll follow you out the door. Okay. Go ahead. I'll follow you out the door. I'm, I'm going right behind you. I don't like when people are behind Well, that's not my problem. If no. you have a problem, that's not my problem. I'm following you out the door. If you don't like it, go ahead. Yeah, you'll walk out. You'll walk out. That's right. You'll walk out. You'll walk out like normal, like we do all the time. Would you like to tell us your name, sir? I would not. Okay, you're free to go. Free to go? What yeah. does that mean? That means that you're not wanted here. You're free to go. I, I can go in here anytime. Public okay. building. If you go in, you're going to get arrested. For you think time. that. You believe that. And if you arrest me, I'll file a federal lawsuit. You'll lose your job. Multi-million dollar lawsuit. Okay. So we can do it any way you want. Okay. So I'm going to go back in there because this is a federal building. Okay. I'm allowed in here. He has no reason to kick me out. I'm okay. just videotaping. This is legal. Okay. Poster 7, rules okay. and regulations governing the post office. Okay. So you are breaking the law. Okay. So I'll go in here anytime I want because I'm not causing a disturbance. Okay. Well, you'll need to wear a mask if you go in. Okay. But I, I would like to... Can I buy all of you? Well, he's not going to give us his name. So... That's okay. I mean, I I just do you know who he is? Okay. We will do a trespass on him. He's got his name. So you're free to go. 
You can do a trespass. You're you're gonna you're gonna. If, I, if you come back here in this building, you will get arrested and taken to jail. You just said you're gonna do a trespassing on me. We're doing a trespass on I'll you. I'll need the paperwork. We're gonna give you the paperwork. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank you, officer. Yeah, no problem. You're gonna lose your job, you idiot. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. You're an idiot. Well, the, you have an idiot. You are an idiot. Not with me. Okay. No, no. It's you. You cannot. You have no authority. You are not postal police. Okay. You are not FPS. Do you know what FPS is? Well, I know that this post Federal office... Protective Services. You have no jurisdiction on federal property. Well, you are going to, they're going to take your badge and melt it. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Well, I appreciate you telling me that, sir. Yeah. Uh, but the fact remains that this post office is in the city of Edmonds and you're not wanted. So either. you're giving unlawful law you're giving unlawful trespass on jurisdiction you don't have sir that's your opinion it's not my opinion it's law okay you're not federal you are a okay. city cop you that's are a fine. city of edmonds that's true you have no authority in this post office well thank you for telling me yeah that. fps but you have to call fps the if you is, there is no issue you you've been you an issue go in there they don't want you i can there. go in there anytime i want well let's just agree to disagree He'll bring you the paperwork and then we'll be all done. You've already counter, you've already talked over yourself. First, you said I could go in there if I have a mask. Now you're no, saying I'm being, you've what already, saying, no. What they're saying is that they don't want you in there now. Okay? Absolutely. So that is the they, they have to have a reason. I have to have a disturbance. I have to commit a crime. You're committing a disturbance. No, right I'm now. not. You are. Okay, that's you are. You have engaged me. You brought me out here. I was just standing there filming. I didn't say a word. Okay. You engaged me. Well, their policy is, is that people that's, wear a mask. That's okay. And so, not wearing one. so if your only if your only can concern you is can, a, you, can you talk quieter? No, I cannot. Okay. If your only concern is a mask, I I can well, throw one on. Okay. If that's the problem, but if you're telling that me that is the reason why I'm here. They now don't want you here. That's not my problem. Okay. I am allowed in this public facility, okay. federal post office, paid by the taxpayers. Okay. So I will go in here anytime I please. Well, they don't want you in That's here. not my problem. Okay. I haven't committed a crime. Unless I commit a crime, I am not breaking the law. Okay. Filming in public is not breaking the law. Well, I never said that filming in public was, sir. Well, you, you have to have a reason. You can't just say right. they want yeah, you out of here. No. The reason is, is you're not wearing a mask. Okay. So they don't want you in there because you weren't wearing a mask. Now they don't want you. Okay. In here's there a mask. Have a mask on here's a mask. Right. Okay. Here's a mask. Even though they haven't showed me a policy, right? Okay. Even though they haven't showed me a policy, which they have to. You're gonna have to pick a different post office. I'm not going to. I'm. Uh, we're gonna play this game. Okay. I'm gonna win. I'll show you how. Okay. I'll show you how, buddy. <laughs> Okay. You you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. That's fine. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine until you lose your job. Okay. Smith R. Smith, Robert Smith. Robert Smith, let's say. I would say he's probably 62 years old. Five foot seven. Probably 185 pounds. I guess they're kicking people out of the post office who, who are just, uh, I, I don't know. He's kicking people out. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's, he says people are getting trespassed and stuff, I guess. Uh, hey, your dog's not wearing a mask. So you might, uh, dog's not wearing a mask. So I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about that. Cause, uh, dog's not wearing a mask. See that? Oh yeah. We can play this game, buddy. We can play this game. Watch and learn. Okay. Watch and learn. Okay. Just in case this guy wants to get a little physical. Hey, buddy, I'm going to have you just set it right there on the table. No, that's okay. Here. That's okay. No. That's okay. Step back. Here. Whoa, step back. There you go. Go ahead, take it. 
it. Take it. Take it. You can have it. You can have it. Take it. Shove it up your ass. All right. Shove it up your ass. Okay. Mitsu. Shove it up your ass, Mitsu. Shove it up your ass, Mitsu. There you go. Shove it up your ass. Wow. You don't want to get physical with me. I'm I'll take you get, down. I'm not going to get physical. I'll sweep your leg. Threat, I'll sweep your leg. Okay. You need to leave. I don't need to leave. I'm on a public sidewalk. Well, we, we don't. I'm on a public We're sidewalk. Have you stand here and make threats. It's, it's, it's not a threat. Mutual, mutual combat state. Mutual combat state. Okay. Your understanding of the law is hey, correct. Hey, if you both want to come at me at once, I'll, I'll take you back. both down. I swear to God, I'll take you down. Pick up your garbage. Pick up your garbage. Hey, Glenn. Just read, uh, oh. he's telling you, uh, yeah. that if you go back inside, uh -huh. then they're gonna call us. Oh, okay. We'll arrest you, okay? Yeah, okay. Do you really think you could arrest me? Honestly. No, honestly. Like, the two of you alone. Well, we can bring more officers. Well, imagine. Imagine if I just walked up and just okay. took... No, I'm just saying. And that, I'm just showing you something. Here, I'm not going to do nothing. Well, I don't need you to show me anything. But, but we're, we're in a public sidewalk, so here, well, here's the deal. If you what do you mean you're going to leave? We're going to leave. If you go uh, back but you're talking about arresting me, so I just yes. want to see my anger versus okay. the two of you. If, if you go back in there, you will be arrested. I want to see... You if I take you down first, mutual combat style, okay. if I bring you to your back, you're laying there in your back, okay? Uh -huh. Then I go after him, right? Then I go full force on him. We're going for Right? If you do that, you'll, you'll be arrested. Not if you attack arrested. me. Not if you reach okay. for me and well, arrest we're me. We're done with this. We're not done. Session. We're not done. We're, we're not done. That's it.